بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حياكم الله جميعا كجينا نار سلي وشر السنة للإمام المزني رحمة الله عليه رحمة واسعة we reach the portion of the treaties where Imam al Muzni, after speaking about Adam alayhi salatu was salam, he then began to articulate the itikad of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah with regards to the hellfire and Jannah. So Ahl Jannah wa Ahl Nar. Because all of this has to do with the creed of Ahl Sunnah. A lot of people seem to misunderstand that all of this is a part of our aqidah, this is all a part of our creed. The creed of Ahlul Sunnah, and it's coming from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wasallam. So the Imam he mentioned, he said, "Thumma khalaka lil Jannah min duriyatihi ahla, fuhum bi amalihim bi amaliha bi mashiyatihi amilun, wubi wubi kudratik." وبي قدرته وبي إرادته ينفضون ينفضون وخلق من ذريته للنار أهلا فخلق لهم أعين لا يبصرون بها وآذان لا يسمعون بها وقلوب لا يفقهون بها فهم بذلك عن عن الهدى محجوبون وَبِأَعْمَالِ أَهْلِ النَّارِ بِسَابِقِ بِقَدْرِهِ يَعْمَلُونَ So here Imam al-Muzni rahmatullahi he mentions, he says, uh, meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the people of paradise from the progeny of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. So we're talking about Adam alayhi salatu wasalam and uh, now we're talking about the progeny of Adam and salatu wasalam and that they will either be from the people of Jannah or the people of Nam. So he created the people for paradise from the progeny of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. So they perform their deeds by the will of Allah and they carry out the deeds by the might and will of Allah. And he created people for the hellfire from the progeny of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. And he created them uh, he created for them that which no, uh, no eye has ever seen, no one has witnessed. And that which no ear has ever uh, heard, and that which no heart has ever truly comprehended, so they are separated from guidance due to that, and they commit uh, deeds of the people of the hellfire and preordainment. Meaning people have not witnessed this. We don't, we don't directly know people who've been to Jannah and been to the hellfire and can attest and make a, a, a testification to us and say, yeah, it was like this. Oh, Jannah, I saw this. But instead, it requires Iman. It requires Iman Billahi wa Rasulihi. It requires Iman from the pillars of Iman in believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, believing in, uh, in his khabar and what he's bringing in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it requires believing in the authentic sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam also had seen a glimpse of what the people of paradise and the people of Nar were experiencing sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this requires Iman. All of this is from Iman. All of this is from Ittiqad. It's all from the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Imam Ahmed al Najmi rahmatullahi he mentions, he says about this uh, ibarah or this statement of Imam al Muzni, he says, Khalaq Allah al Jannah wa Nar qabla an yakhlaqa Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. Wa khalaqa al Jannah ahla wa al Nar ahla. Fa ahla al Jannah muyassiruna lil amaliha wa ahla al Nar kadalik. قال عز وجل فأما من عطى وتقى 
وصدق بالحسنى فسنيسره لليسرى وأما من بخل واستغنى وكذب بالحسنى فسنيسره للعسرى Allah subhanahu uh, the, the shaykh so he mentions he said Allah created Jannah and Nar before he created Adam and Eve salatu wasalam and he created uh, for paradise its inhabitants you know the people who would go to paradise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them and they were destined to that and we talked a little bit about the divine decree that you have a choice that you have a, a will but nothing escapes the irada konia the the general will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he created and he knows uh everything uh and that and that everything is in accordance with his ilm and it's a uh you know in the various maratib al qadr and that it was uh that he wrote it in Allah al mahfuz and the other uh maratib al qadr so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still gave people uh, a choice you know you're still responsible for your actions not like he just destined you and you had no you know as the jabariya and we mentioned some of the people who were extreme with regards to the divine decree and that was in lesson number one i believe so go back to that so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it easy for the people of paradise who will inhabit paradise to do the good deeds of of the uh, of paradise and he made it easy for those people who are the people of Nar because they were obstinate in rebellion and they disbelieve to do their wickedness wallahu musta'an may allah protect us in our progeny from that amin ya rabbil alamin and so then the sheikh he mentioned as he made istidlal or used as evidence the verse in Surah Al-Layl where Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says as for him who gives and keeps his duty to Allah and fears him meaning the person who gives in sadaqa and charity and they keep their duty they're obedient to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala and believes in Al-Husna and he believes in Al-Husna he believes in in uh the you know everything that Islam comes with Tawheed was Sunnah we will make smooth for him the path of ease and goodness and may Allah bless us for be from them but he who is greedy a greedy miser and thinks himself self-sufficient and belies al-husna meaning he disbelieves in al-husna he believes disbelieves in 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 the arcanly man or arcana Islam we will make smooth for him the path of evil and Jahannam. The in a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, narrated by Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu anhu, he said, "We were in the company of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he said, there is none amongst you." But he has a place written for him, into, uh, either in paradise or in the hellfire. We said, O Messenger of Allah, shall we depend on this fact and give up doing good deeds? He replied, No, carry on, carry on doing good deeds, for everybody will find easy to do such deeds as will lead him to his destined place. Then the Prophet ﷺ recited the verse we just read, as for him who gives in charity and keeps his duty to Allah and fears him and believes in Al-Husna will make easy for him the path of ease. And that is in Sahih Al-Bukhari. So it lets us know, Habitifillah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made easy for the people of paradise the path to paradise. And the people of Nar the path to Nar. And that we know that in order to do righteous deeds, which are going to be a wasila and a means for you to get to paradise, we need knowledge. We need ilm. We need ilm shar. We need ilm of, of, of the book and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And this goes back to the hadith where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Man sallaka tariqan, man sallaka tariqan 
Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, and we're talking about Islamic knowledge, Allah makes easy for him the path to paradise. So that lets us know that Talib al ilm as the Salaf used to say, Talib al ilm Talib al Jannah, seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. So Allah will make easier for the one who uh, is seeking Islamic knowledge and practicing it. He'll make easy for him the path to Jannah. And may Allah bless us to be from amongst them. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And forgive us our many shortcomings. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Also, the Prophet Sallallahu said, Man yiradullahu bi khayran yafiqahu fi deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him fiqh, understanding of the religion. Why? And what, what, what's the relationship? Because that fiqh fi deen, understanding of the deen, that shows that Allah loves that person because he's given him an easier way to paradise or he's giving him fiqh on how to get, a par get to paradise. He's giving them the understanding, the wisdom, the hikmah, uh, how to get and, and the key and the, the means to get to paradise. He's making it easy for him. So this is a sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves this person. And we just mentioned that Talib al-Am, Talib al-Jannah, seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. And Allah will make Sahalallahu Tariqan al Jannah, that Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. So now we see the relationship with Talib al with seeking knowledge and why it's so high and esteemed and it's such a beautiful, beautiful path. But it's a steep path. It doesn't come easy. You sacrifice your 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 health, you sacrifice your family, maybe, you sacrifice your wealth, and you may or may not attain anything. And it takes a sound niyyah. Then if you gain something of ilm, then you have to still continue to strive to have ikhlas, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you have to strive to practice what you what you preach and what you learn. Maybe so many people, there are people who gain knowledge, but they just can't practice. They do the major sins like it's nothing for them. It's difficult for them to practice even what they preach and even what they learned. So it's really tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one who learns and they practice and they can be a source of guidance for other people. May Allah bless us to be from amongst them. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. And so also Imam Ahmed al-Najmi, he mentions where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Insan, Qala jalla min al-qa'il, min qa'il, min qa'il, min qa'il, hal ata ala l-insani hina min al-dahri lam yakun, لم يكن شيء مذكورا إن خلقنا الإنسان من نطفة نمشاج نبتلي فجعلناه سميع بصيرا إن هديناه سبيلا وإما شاكرا وإما كفورا as we mentioned this ayat prior to this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem didn't there come هل أتى الإنسان هنا من الدهر لم يكن شيء مذكورا wasn't there, didn't there proceed a, t a period of time when mankind was not even mentioned? Verily, we created insan. We created mankind from a, a blood clot. And we tested him. So you're tested. Uh, and, uh, and we made him, we gave him hearing and we gave him sight. So we should be thankful for that hearing and sight. Verily, we guided him to the path, and he is either grateful or is ungrateful. So this, uh, the point of mentioning this ayah here is to show that the path uh, for mankind, that some of them chose the path of, uh, as we mentioned, the path of Ahlul Jannah, and then some took the path of Ahlul Nar. وَعِيَادٍ بِاللَّهُ وَإِيَّاكُمْ مِنَ النَّارِ and this path to Jannah, of course, we know is a steep path. And there are many ayat and many hadith which illustrates for us the danger and the perils of this life and how we can be misguided. And that's why we need elm and thick and we need to practice. We need to strive to get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Strive to practice what we know 
seek Toba, make Toba and forgiveness often. And in describing the disbelievers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi Kitab al Karim, this is just one of the many ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions and will suffice with this. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabih al Karim. He says, Lahum qulubun la yafqahun. لهم قلوب لا يفقهون بها ولهم أعين لا يبصرون بها ولهم آذان لا يسمعون بها أولئك كالأنعام بل هم أبل الله سبحانه وتعالى says in كتاب الكريم talking about the status of the people of Nar and may Allah سبحانه وتعالى protect us and our families from being inhabitants of the hellfire he says and for them uh, and for them they have hearts but they don't understand with those hearts they don't have understanding because humanity you know human beings if they're living they have hearts if they're truly living we're not talking about someone who's brain dead in a coma. But we're talking about the average human being. Think about how many people who are devils and or behave like devils. Allah has given them a heart to open their heart. And open their heart up to hidayah, to guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La yafqahum. They don't understand with it. So they don't use it. Wallahum a'yun. And they have eyes, but they don't see. They don't see the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They do have eyes. They witness everything in the creation. In their hearts is a sickness. And so Allah increases their sickness. Don't blame Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Blame yourself. Because you're the one who continues. You're the one who desires. You're the one who wants to do other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from you. You're the one who wants to do the deeds of Ahl al-Nawr. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins. Amin, ya rabbil alameen. So this is the shan of the people in Nawr. They have eyes and they don't see. Wallahum a'dhanun la yasma'una biha. And they have ears that they don't, they don't hear. You give them da'wah, you call them to the book, you call them to the sunnah, you call them zohid. They don't hear that. They don't want to hear it. Their hearts are hard and sealed and closed. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about them. Mentions their status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And mentions that the level of misguidance that they've reached. He says, Ula'ika, so this is all those sifat we just described, those who don't hear and see, and those who don't uh, understand, and they have hearts. He says, Ula'ika kel an'am. He said, Verily, they are like beasts. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bel, hum abal. He said, rather, they are lower than them. They're more misguided. How can you be more misguided than the beast, than, than an ox or a camel? Because they follow their own fitra, the fitra that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created them for. But human beings, they have the choice. They have responsibility. They have to do, they have to believe, and they have to do righteous deeds. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem wal asr inna l-insana la fi khusr illa al-ladhina amanu wa amanu al-salihati wa tawasu bil-haqqi wa tawasu bil-sabr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says by the time he tabarak wa ta'ala swears by the time wal asr inna l-insana la fi khusr verily mankind is in a loss illa al-ladhina amanu except so now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes exception istithna illa al-ladhina amanu except those who believe 
إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ and do righteously. So they have to believe and they have to act on that belief. They have to do righteous acts. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالصَّالِحِ And they call to the truth and they are patient. So they give da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They remind one another. They're practicing. And they're patient upon the path of giving da'wah and the path of representing Islam. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.